had a little bit of a glitch the last, uh, not a glitch, the end of the last episode. We hit two technical challenges. And we gotta prioritize one over the other. Um, I could sit here and nitpick and try to figure out why I'm getting this error, but I thought the easier thing might be for one, uh, let's just go ahead and look in five. Actually, I did this on the break. They've only got one copy in five. Uh, versus like some of the previous chapters had several versions. Two had a lot, three had three. Uh, so we'll copy five out and throw it on the desktop. Much like how we've been working with three, three. I wonder if that was it. Desktop, three, three. Yeah, should have been fine with that. Uh, let's go ahead and rename this one. Helps to get a little more screen space. There we go. Chapter 5. I'm almost fine with calling that Chapter 5 even. Um, what I am curious about. We got our brackets. I think I cl Let's just close everything. Close all. And then we'll do a open. Chapter 5. Let's look at the server file. Alright, what I was curious about in here. Require Mongo, require Express. Okay, and they did leave it after the development environment. There's one that's not what I was curious about, but that's good to confirm while we're here. Okay, nothing else out of the ordinary there. Um See what else is going on. So let's look at the package. Public config and app. So there was that one thing that they helped us with on uh, Stack Overflow. The uh, required parameters. I was wondering if that was still out of date, but it looks like it doesn't even make that call in this file. So. Uh, what we'll do next, let's go back to our command prompt. We never got it to work there anyways. So, we'll go here. We're in chapter 5, nope. We'll get the path down to 5. There's what I want. Okay. Minimize. So we'll just do a change directory, paste path. Now we're there. Okay, so let's try a nipum update. Let's just install everything that they gave us for chapter five. Oh, we forgot our timer. We're four minutes. So we'll put another 21 on the Eggman. Is that your name? You've been needing the name. I guess I just called you Eggman. Hammy Eggman. Piggy Eggman. Alright, something's running there. They did that last time though, right? What I want to get past is that uh hasn't been registered for model user. Something about the schema was trying to load it. Didn't like our schema, but we'll see if they, it likes their schema. If so, we can press past one technical issue. I'm, I'm more worried about how to uh, how to post through Mongoose. It said we've connected to it, or actually that was the one thing I felt like we, I wasn't sure if we connected or not. Um, but I'm just going to install their copy of what they say five should have in it, and we'll go from there.
ahead and opened our uh, the notes we've been working on since we're waiting on that to install. I figured it'd be a good time to update. That's this one working files. And chapter five, that was episode twenty three. Some comments. I don't know if that was today's episode. I think that's the last one I did last night before I went to bed. Uh, I'll go ahead and do two of these just to be safe. We're getting a good format down. We got the comment in there. Let's just go ahead and finish this list out. We'll start using those as our template. Had some trouble with the last three I did yesterday, but I'm not going to worry about going back for them. I got good notes on them. I feel like I absor absorbed the material, but uh, the video is all clipped off within the three to five minute range. But this isn't about getting the. I, I tried a series before, I, I, a series. I tried to video or recorded it four or five times. I was so bored with it by the time I got done, and it's not about getting the perfect video production. It's about, it's almost like a documentary. It's just a log of what I'm working on as I'm working on it. So if I didn't get it, I'm not going to worry about going back and replicating it. Uh, so I think this will be the second episode I've done this morning. I know that for a fact, what I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. Chapter 4. There we go, Tuesday. Yeah, some of these episodes. So I got good notes on what we were going through, but there's more than a five minute episode here. And same thing installing Mongoose, connecting to Mongo, dependencies. Chapter 5 connecting to MongoDB. Chapter 5, Understanding. Okay, we're still in 5. Um, so the first episode... What did we even talk about last hour? Our last Pomodoro. I would say... Um, for now, I'm just going to say Ended in double errors and then we're going to come on down I think now let's see if that was 23 so that, was, that should be episode 24 it's probably one of those you can skip like a lot of these really more about me working through the process than you guys watching them uh, ended in errors so if we ended in errors now what we're going to try and do is uh, we installed uh, sample code from chapter 5. Now we're going to try posting from Mongoose. Right, we'll call that a save for now. It should be done installing. Okay, so now we're back in here. Let's try a node server. Keep your fingers crossed. Come on, buddy, 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 buddy. Interesting. It is starting the server, which I didn't think it was doing before. still something it's not liking so we'll just, and this is from their code so it's probably out of date again did we did we did install or we did update I think I did install this let's go back there are up arrows oh we did do update okay um, Okay, 
the server started running. So we got that. Turtle Desktop Chapter 5. Node Modules. Mongo Database Library Server. Process Next Ticked Function Throw Error. There's not an easy way to copy that off of there. Is there? Um, Cause it's just logging this to the console. We're not saving that log anywhere, I don't think. Maybe we are. Uh, public configure app controllers, models, routes, views. There's not like a log file or a log folder in here. There might be on the database, is what I was wondering. Uh, like over in the mongoose bin, mongoose bin, or mongo bin. Um, I think our better bet, we get an error like that, it's usually a known issue. So I just want to get my uh, browser. On one side here. It's fine, we'll search here for once. I usually don't use, I usually use the top bar. I don't care. We'll go. Okay, that's good enough. Chapter 5, we're looking up node. Modules. Maybe I can highlight it. I can't copy it, but I can highlight it. Can I? Nope, can't even highlight it. Node modules backslash mongo db. Backslash on go db backslash library backslash server dot js two six one. Process next tick function. There I get process next tick function. It's on GitHub. Stack overflow. We'll probably go back to that one next. Let's see if this, this one come up first. Please help. I get process next tick function throw error. Open this issue two years ago. Version I am using. Please help. I tried setting up auth in MongoD ports are open for all the required IP addresses. How are you connecting with Mongoose? If the MongoD server uses auth, are you specifying credentials when you connect? Might need to go study. Might need to uh, break out Mongo and Mongoose separately, apart from what the book tells us, and just focus maybe on Mongoose for a minute. 
it's, it looks according to this error, what they're saying so far. That was about a year ago, January, February, March, a little over a year ago, about a year and a half. Make sure you turn, oh, that's, make sure you turn on the, we need two of these, we need another one. Rookie mistake, that's worth a Pomodoro and a half to understand. Um. Uh, so we need another one. Da dum bump. I don't want to feel so funny if this fixes it. We need to get back to the same spot. No, we need to, no, we don't. We need to go to the same spot. We need to go to that bin and get our node running. Um, which means we could probably run this one now too. Which might be interesting if we get the Mongo running. I bet we could have. Two ser we could have three windows. We could have two servers. We could have two um, clients making call to a server. Um, let's find out where we're going first. We need. Let's just open this one. Let me get back to the desktop. Uh, I think it's program files. Mongo database server 32 bin. It's in here. I need to turn this thing on. So let's copy that path. That's where we'll take this one to. So we're going to change directory. And go there. And now we're just going to turn it on. Mongo, man. Mongo, Mongo. Connecting the test. Alright, I feel better now. So that's our server. Um, we'll get another path while we're in here. Let's go back to desktop. Let's go into 3.3. Get that path out and put it in one. Okay, so let's, we got two of these already. We're gonna do one more. This one will be a client to change directory to that path. Okay, now we're gonna say node server. Still unregistered user. Okay, so but is it? A, that's a different error, though, right? Let's see. Throw new mongoose error, missing schema error name. That's not what we had over here. What was this one missing? We had a different error. next tick function okay so we did the update um, I didn't call that one yet we're looking so let's try uh, let's try node server now now that we got a mongo server call I failed to connect to server Let's focus on this one for a minute. Oh. Connection failed. Mongo shell. Is that a response to this one?
long ago error failed to connect to server. Process next tick function. Uh, I don't know. Recording 20 minutes. At least we remember to turn our server on this time. Uh, maybe one of those I have to uh, spend another Pomodoro doing some research. Let's try just doing a restart on everything. Okay, this one's a dead thread. Let's close that. This one's a dead thread, so we'll close it. This one's... They all look like dead threads, so why isn't the server even running? Uh... Close the wrong one. Okay, let's get. So, do I have like a memory leak? Did I start a server and leave it running? Or did it? Huh. I don't know. I'm going to try to restart on the whole thing. This guy hasn't been rebooted since yesterday. And we're at the end of the episode, so uh, we'll work on our notes, get them up to date. I uh, didn't mean to show that. I'll have to reset my password now. Okay. Uh, let's look on the other one too while we got a little bit of time left. Let's look on the other. Because it looked like we were still getting that server ticks. Next ticks. I'm a beginner in Node.js, and when I run Node main app JS in console, I get this error. I don't know what this means. Make sure that your database is up and running. So you got go to your terminal and in your app directory run Mongo. I'm running Mongo, so I need to run Mongo D. I told you Stack Overflow is good. Um. The system back is this for a second. Okay, let's get our command prompt open. Open. Alright, there shouldn't be anything on the clipboard because we just got going. So I'm going to go back down. Uh, desktop. Uh, program files. C drive. Program files, Mongo database, server, 30.2, bin, copy up, bin, copy path. Okay, take the path, change directory, space, paste path. Uh, so last time we were trying to say Mongo D, I mean we were trying to say Mongo. The command it really needs is Mongo D. Yep, now it's listening on port. Okay, so we'll need another one of these. Okay, we'll leave our server running here. There's nothing on the desktop. Put it up here. Now this one will go back into. I wonder if I can do. Nope. If I can copy the path from there, but I can get it right here. So we'll change directory. Paste the path. 
Um, let's just try node server. So that may be it. It may have just made the call for, that I've been trying to make. It may have just made it automatically. Okay, this one looks like it's still hung up and running. It's running the server. Let's go look and see what's over there. So confused. They both look like they're hanging there. Do I need another one? Um, so I should be able to make a post to the Mongo. This one's running. This is the server. So this is running in the bin. So I really don't need to put. I shouldn't be putting stuff in there, but I can see stuff coming back out of it. Is that right? this one and same thing I can see it running but I'm not at a carrot I shouldn't be able to all records zero so is this the return Let's see let's read through that a little bit more 64 megabytes took 5 milliseconds create indexes yeah I think it did this right here I think this is a mongoose command. Uh, on this date, at this time, two minutes ago, I command connection one, command main development. Yeah, I think it did it automatically. Email, background, write concern, write key updates map journal acquire count w6 database acquire count w1 w2 collection acquire count w1 metadata acquire count index one build index on main development main development users background true build index done scanned zero total records zero seconds so so what I think it just created a collection but added no data to the collection so it has an index of one with zero data so it's like it created a folder and didn't put anything in it maybe I'm over guessing but uh, I think we're in good shape I think we can go back to the text and work our way forward from here. We'll go ahead and break that. We've got two long episodes. Uh, stop recording.